All new at 9, a government student government meeting at ASU last night started with a clash of Israel and Palestinian supporters and ended with police escorting some of the students home. Fox 10's Marissa Sarbach has more on how this war is affecting people here in the valley. Christina, John, we saw about 120 people in that Students for Justice in Palestine group go to that meeting last night at ASU campus, and they were asking ASU to essentially separate themselves from Israel in general and overall. Now, the Israeli students and the Palestinian students certainly clashed at this meeting, and the meeting ended early when rocks were reportedly thrown at the windows where that meeting was being held. A student government meeting at ASU turned into a fiery exchange between pro-Israel students and pro-Palestine students. Be afraid to wear this shirt on campus. <laughs> the BDS bill, the Students for Justice in Palestine group is trying to pass, asks the student government to remove Israel-made products from campus stores, divest in companies supporting Israel, and end all ASU study abroad programs in Israel. But the item was never formally discussed, with the meeting called to end early after those in attendance heard rocks hitting the windows. It was that they were outside in front of the MU and they were protesting from outside while we were having this meeting um, and the rocks were thrown on a window. It, thank God it did not break the window. An ASU spokesperson released a statement that the University Police Department is investigating and says, quote, the incident is being reviewed for possible disorderly conduct and criminal damage charges. No arrests have been made at this time. But the Jewish students who had a police escort to their Chabad last night say they're feeling anything but safe right now. I understand that ASU is trying to, to show, uh, like, you're safe here, but when when they wake up and understand how quickly anti-Semitic rhetoric becomes organized violence, and that's what we saw yesterday. An Israeli citizen and an IDF veteran studying here at ASU, Shaili ben Ezer says since October 7th, she switched to remote learning. I withdrew from all classes on campus because I do not feel safe to walk with this Star of David up. I, I never thought that my generation will need to hide our, our, our Jewish pride. I, I'm carrying a gun here at my synagogue from the day that it started because I feel like we need to protect ourselves. We did reach out to the group Students for Justice in Palestine for a comment. So far, we have not heard back. Reporting live in Tempe, Marissa Sarbach, Fox 10 News.